So this guy was among the best writers of Africa before colonization. Let's talk today about Kamarolei. Born on 1st January 1928, Kamarelai was born in Guinea, which was at that time a French colony. Did his studies in a Quranic school and after went to do his technical studies. And after that got a scholarship which took him to Paris in France. That's where he did his engineering school to be a mechanical engineer. While he was in France, he wrote his first novel, which was L'Enfant Noir, in English, The Dark Child, which was published in 1953. This novel was more appreciated because of what it was explaining a nostalgic childhood of his when he was in Guinea, his origin country. And in the novel, it explains how his life was good while he was in his village of Kurusa, explaining how life was sweet before the arrival of the Western technology. In 1956, he came back to Guinea. He started working first as an engineer and after started working with the government as director at the center of research in the Ministry of Information. During that time also, he wrote many other things and some of his other novels which have been writing, I cannot describe all of them but one of his novel also which was considered to be the best is called Le Regard du Roi or The Writings of King in English which was written by him in 1954 and after working for a time with the government of his home country he went in exile in Senegal where he died and never came back home because of some political problems which he got in his country he died at the age of 52 due to some complications of kidney Kamaru Alai as an African one of the things which I like from him was his ability of telling the true story of Africa in its way, how it was without technology of the Western world and how he appreciated it. And Kamarolai became one of the best writers of Africa, teaching Africans to speak their story by themselves. Many other writers came after him who also came to speak about their life in Africa and showing how life can be good in Africa without the technology from the Western world. And this is something which we should all learn as Africans to be able to appreciate our life, our lifestyle, our villages and our original life. Which was basically good and had a lot of memories which we unfortunately had to drop and forget because of the things which we saw the western world bringing to us so thank you so much for watching this video if you would like the world to know about camera please share this video and let us share africa to the world